Well, hey folks, welcome to my third video. This video is going to showcase my hand-built TS Instruments guitar through my 65 Fender Deluxe Reverb reissue. I picked that up from a guy who uh, I traded for it, actually. I traded a Boogie uh, Stiletto Ace, which I wasn't happy with. Got this and a few other things with it. Uh, the amp has been tweaked with new old stock tubes and a Weber P12 and 50 speaker, which is pretty nice. So, uh, let me get at it. Hopefully you can hear me from over here. Alright. I've been getting a lot of questions. I want to thank everybody for looking at my videos. I've been getting a lot of questions about the tone controls on the guitar. Asking me to demonstrate the difference between um, the pre-60 wiring and the uh, um, and the stock Gibson wiring. Unfortunately, I can't do that because while I own four Les Pauls, they're all wired uh, in a pre-60 fashion. I can, however, show you how responsive these pickups are and how these tone controls are much more responsive. Those of you that own Les Pauls will um, know, know that you can probably turn that tone control from zero up to about eight before you, you noticeably hear any difference. Um, and here, if you uh, listen, got the rhythm pickup on, got the tone control off, this is what Eric Clapton called his woman tone. Um, that's, that's off. I just turned this to, you can hear this, you can hear little nuance and changes as you turn it up. It's already a little brighter. Um, I got it on about two and a half, three right now. And that's about five. Here's about seven or eight. Might not come through on the video, but I can hear it uh, brightening up a little bit all the way. If I turn it all the way up to ten. sound like through it. Uh, got on these amps after watching Greg Allman and Friends and noticed that his guitar player played through two of these and I've always uh, shied away from Fender amps because I always thought that you couldn't get a, a good uh, overdriven tone out of them. Uh, this amp changed my mind. This is a nice little amp at 22 watts. So anyway, let me play some clean stuff. Turn my, uh, my pickup down to about seven. Um, one thing I really like about this guitar and this amp is I can uh, turn this thing full out, balls to the wall, and you get a nice distortion to it. boost uh, from uh, 8 or so to 10 is, is a marked difference. That's a lot of difference. So anyway, let me play some clean stuff off my rhythm pickup. I really like the sound of this. <laughs>
65 Deluxe Reverb reissue. Uh, I think it sounds really bright. I love the amp. I love the guitar. Um, anyway, I hope that answers some of the questions that some of you folks had about the tone controls. Um, 
wish I had not modified my Les Paul so I could demonstrate the difference, but I know you Les Paul players out there uh, know what those tone controls are like on a modern uh, Les Paul. So um, if you love your Les Paul, I urge you to get a hold of RS Guitar Works in Kentucky and buy one of their harnesses with the uh, Lux Bumblebee caps, uh, and I guarantee you will notice a difference. Um, and I'm a big fan of these WCR pickups. I'll be getting a couple sets for, uh, I have a 78 standard and a 76 Black Beauty that, um, I think are going to have to get a set of these pickups. I love them. So, anyway, till my next video, talk to you later.